Hi guys, this is uh, just a, a little video catching up on one of the graphs that I left out of my uh, earlier videos. In order for it to make uh, any sense, you probably need to see uh, numbers 5 and 6 in this series. But uh, anyway, there you go. Uh, this graph shows the uh, test cell's efficiency. Uh, that's the test cell that I showed in uh, HH05 and HH06. And that's a 100 by 100 millimeter uh, 316 stainless steel cell. Uh, two sheets of uh, stainless steel with a 1 millimeter gap. And the water is uh, from my dehumidifier. In these first set of trials, I'm not using any additives to the water, so the uh, current is quite low. Uh, but the, uh, the graph shows efficiencies, and uh, the readings were taken at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 volts. To calculate the efficiency, I've uh, taken the um, output and divided that by the input and multiplied it by 100. I've taken the uh, calorific value of the HHO gas as 7,744 joules per litre uh, or uh, watt second, so 7,744 watts times seconds per litre. And for this test I've measured the amps and volts into the cell so I'm not taking into account any losses in the power supply unit. As you can see the uh, efficiency is pretty awful at 5 volts and uh, it gets uh, significantly worse uh, as we get up to 30 volts and uh, this is uh, simply another way of showing that the uh, higher working voltage on the cell uh, although it produces more gas um, it does so less efficiently uh, as I said at the beginning in order to make uh, any sense of this you probably need to see some of the earlier videos at least uh, numbers 5 and 6 in uh, in this series. Anyway, hope you find that interesting. Um, thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.